Oh, hey, how's it going? This is Webby here. The last of the leaves from my maple tree fell in my backyard, so I had another yard full of leaves to deal with. So I used my Echo ES250 to blow them into the pile that you see behind me. And now it's time to use the vacuum mode. But if you watched my previous video where I did a full review of this product using the blower and the vacuum slash mulcher, you know that the one thing I wasn't a huge fan of was the fact that I had to detach the bag, unzip it, dump out the leaves, rinse, repeat numerous times throughout the process. So I really liked the product, but that was one thing that I wasn't a huge fan of because it was so tedious and tiring. But I found something online that is supposed to help with that. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about and we'll put it to the test. All right, so here we go. This is what I found online. It is the Leaf Pro Universal Collection System. And what it is, is an attachment that connects to your leaf vacuum and it makes it to where you can suck up in through a tube and then put it into a garbage can or whatever you want to put the leaves into. That way you don't have to keep continuously emptying the bag that comes with the leaf vacuum. So this is the Leaf Pro Universal Collection System made by the company Works. And it says it's a high capacity direct to can leaf collection system. It says it fits all major gas or electric blower vac brands. It has a mesh cover designed for maximum airflow and an eight foot flexible hose. So I'm excited to test this thing out. If it works as advertised, that could be awesome and a game changer for my Echo ES250. But first off, let's find out what's in the box. All right, so here we have the adapter to connect the hose to the vacuum. Here's the mesh bag connected to the hose. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Hopefully this thing works as advertised. We're gonna go ahead and test it out, make sure this connects to my leaf blower properly. And then once we connect it to a garbage can, we're gonna make sure that it actually sucks up the leaves into the garbage can. Hopefully it does, cause that'll be awesome. But let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so right now we're gonna go ahead and connect the adapter to the leaf vacuum. So according to the instruction manual, it looks like we wanna connect the adapter directly to the blower. So we will slide the adapter onto the blower base of the vacuum. Once we have it pulled up as far as we can, then we wanna pull on this strap until it's as tight as we can make it. And then once we pulled it as much as we can that way, it's best to pull this back to click it into place. So we have this ratchet clip that you wanna pull back that'll get it extra tight. And there we go, that thing is not going anywhere, so that is on there nice and snug. So now let's go ahead and get the hose connected to the adapter. And one thing to take note of, there is a smaller notch and a little bit larger notch, so you just wanna make sure you line it up properly to the adapter here. So once that's lined up, give it a twist to lock it into place. All right, and there was kind of a click, so I know that that is nice and secure, so it's connected there. All right, so now that we got the hose connected to the vacuum, it's time to connect the mesh bag and a portion of the hose to the garbage can. And there's a drawstring right here. So I'll go ahead and pull on that to make it nice and tight. All right, seems like it's on there nice and secure. So here we go. Time for the moment of truth. Will the leaves actually suck up through the vacuum, go through the tube and into the garbage can? Only one way to find out. Let's go for it. All right, so it is sucking the leaves in. Um, one thing I'm noticing, the suction power doesn't seem quite as good as if I were just to have had the, uh, the bag that comes with the Echo ES250. And part of me wonders if like the adapter, it's kind of dangling here. I'm wondering if that's like blocking the airflow to where it's not really getting optimal suction. Not really sure how to fix that. I guess I could try adjusting this, pulling it a little more close to the uh, blower base. Let me see if I can do that. But it is working. 
It is sucking up the leaves. They are going into the can. Maybe I'll try laying the garbage can down. Maybe that'll help with the flow too. Let's see if that makes any kind of a difference. All right, so actually the can is just about full now. So the leaves are sucking up through the hose into the garbage can, so that part is nice. Let me go ahead and detach the mesh bag here. Show you. Look at that. The can got filled with the leaves just from that hose, so I am liking that, and I feel like this will make the process easier. Don't have to worry about detaching that bag, unzipping the bag, dumping the bag in yard waste bags over and over again. Um, now all I have to do is take the mesh bag off here, either swap out cans or dump the leaves into a bag or something like that. But yeah, so far, not too bad. I'm gonna keep plugging away. I'll finish this whole pile and then I'll let you know my final thoughts. All right, so I'm actually gonna do some experimenting now. I put <laughs> a paper yard waste bag in here because I want to see if I can fill up the bag from within this garbage can and see how that goes. All right, so it wasn't sucking leaves up and this is why the adapter is currently clogged. Still gonna take a while and I'm not so sure it's gonna save as much time as I was hoping it would but let's finish the job and see how it goes. Another thing I just noticed as I was about to attach the mesh bag back to the garbage can is the hose at this end is clogged right now so that's twice that a clog happened in the hose. So if that's gonna keep happening I don't love that. Oh yeah, look at that can full of leaves. It actually worked a lot smoother that time, so I'll just keep taking that approach, just filling up the can. Let's keep plugging away. Yeah, unfortunately, it just got jammed again in the adapter part, so. That's not good. I feel like that's happening a bit too frequently. So I think what I'm going to do now is put on the bag that came with the Echo ES250 and just see if I can notice a, a difference in how much time it takes to suck up the rest of the leaves. And then that'll help me decide if I want to keep using this thing on future leaf projects moving forward. So let's go ahead and put the original bag back on. <laughs> All right, so the suction power was definitely much better, but unfortunately, now we're back to the original issue where this bag gets filled up really quick. But the pile's getting smaller, so let's go ahead and finish the job.
All right, took care of that whole pile. Let me go ahead and put all this away and then I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so I just finished my first attempt at using the Leaf Pro Universal Leaf Collection System. And at first it seemed like it was working halfway decent. Uh, but one thing I noticed right away is the suction power of the leaf vacuum definitely wasn't as good as it normally is if I were just to use the standard bag that came with the leaf vacuum. But even with that being said, it did work. Like the, the leaves got sucked up through the tube into the garbage can. And it was nice being able to suck in more leaves before having to stop and then empty the leaf bag that normally comes with the leaf vacuum. Unfortunately, I did keep having a recurring issue and that was the hose getting clogged. Multiple times it got clogged on this end, especially where the adapter connected to the leaf vacuum. And I tried making it to where there was as little bit of this part in between the blower and this adapter. And at first I thought the issue would be that like if it was like this, it would stop all the suction from happening. That didn't seem to be a big issue, but this getting clogged was an issue that happened a couple times and that was very unfortunate. And then there was actually a time where the hose got clogged at this end too. But yeah, that was a big bummer because that's a big issue if this hose is gonna continuously get clogged like that. Now I do have a disclaimer, the leaves weren't perfectly dry. They were mostly dry, but they were a little moist in some spots. Uh, we had a heavy frost this morning and I waited until the afternoon until it seemed like they were pretty dry. In a perfect world, I would have waited to do this until all the leaves were perfectly dry, but they're calling for snow tomorrow. So this was really my last chance to try to get rid of the leaves in my yard. So I couldn't wait any longer. So I can't totally say that this thing doesn't work because it did technically work. I just had some issues that kind of made it a pain to deal with for me. Uh, and also maybe it just isn't super compatible with my particular leaf blower. Once again, I have the Echo ES250 Shred and Vac. Maybe this works better with other types of blowers and vacuums to where it's not an issue even if the leaves are a little bit wet. Um, but those are all things to take into consideration. So my overall thoughts on this product, I do feel like it, it works. And at first I had real high hopes for it and I was real happy with it. But the fact that I had to keep stopping to get rid of the clogs and the hose, that was a bummer. And then the fact that I ended up going back to, to the bag that came with the leaf vacuum, that's a big bummer too, because that kind of defeats the purpose. But yeah, unfortunately my experience with this product, with the Echo ES250 wasn't great. Uh, maybe next year, if I get a chance, I will do another video when the leaves are perfectly dry and see if this works better. But that's gonna do it for us here today. If you wanna see me review more products like this, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you wanna see me review in the future. And if you like these videos I'm making, please consider subscribing to the channel. All right, so before I end the video, a thought just crossed my mind that I wanted to bring up. And I was thinking like, what if I would have connected the adapter to the elbow pipe that connects to the blower. Uh, the instruction manual made it look like the adapter should go directly onto the blower. And at first glance, this big opening seems too big to fit the adapter onto. And right now it, it is too big to fit it on there. But I just tried loosening the ratchet strap all the way, almost totally disconnecting the strap. And then wouldn't you know it, it does actually fit. You gotta apply a bit of pressure, but it does end up fitting. So I'm really thinking it would have worked better if I would have used this elbow pipe. I feel like the airflow would have been better coming out of here through the adapter. It's not as wobbly. It's still a little flimsy, but I think it would have provided a little better airflow to where the suction might have been better for the leaves and maybe even would have prevented some of the clogs that happened. So I wish I would have thought about this earlier, but I will definitely do another video next season when the leaves fall again and see if this does help. So this is another thing to keep in mind, even though I didn't have the greatest experience with the way that I hooked it up, which was the way that the instruction manual made it seem like it should be hooked up. Um, this is something to take into consideration and it could make a difference. But I didn't want to end the video until I brought this up because I do think this is pretty crucial and it could make a big difference with how this works with the Echo ES250. But that's going to do it for us here today. And until next time, this is Webby signing off.
Thank you.